Right, are we back? Is the audio working? Because if it's not, I don't know what the problem is. I gotta listen to it now to see if it's any good. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Right, are we back? Yeah, it's really choppy. It's it's not me though, it's the connection. But I don't know why the connection would be bad. I mean, the connection should be fine. Sorry, I'm just listening to the stream itself. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Sorry, sorry about that, everyone. I don't know what the problem was. Now I have to get this fixed. <laughs> Look, I I can't wait until I no longer have to do any of the technical side. Uh, but we just captured someone. Um, YouTube suppression. Yeah, YouTube suppression. Lord stream. This was what was going to win the election. If it wasn't for YouTube censoring my Bannerlord stream, Trump would have won. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, I think there's there's a uh, there was a, a Hill article going around Twitter a minute ago, um, where the Biden campaign insiders were sort of leaking to them, saying, "Well, yeah, look, we're getting really nervous here." And it's like, "Yeah, I bet you're getting really nervous because it looks like Joe Biden's about to get a legendary kicking from Trump." I mean, Trump looks like a fucking rock star, man. Like fifty-eight thousand people, fifty-two thousand people have him, which they said it was. I mean, imagine. Am I executing these? I can't remember whether I was. I can't remember whether whether I was beginning uh, an ex. Uh, a genocidal campaign against the uh against these guys or not hmm maybe i should just assume that i am i think it's just better safe than sorry isn't it you know oh no i wasn't right okay <laughs> i was just ransoming ransoming them off right okay never mind i guess it's a genocidal campaign now though um <laughs> yeah what was i saying um, I'm running out of money. Hmm. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, 120-odd sergeants, or whatever they were. Um, very, very expensive. So I need constant warfare to make sure I don't go bankrupt. Hmm. I mean, I'm really tempted. What? 50 recruits. That's not that many recruits, really. 60 trained infantrymen. 62 uh, that's a bit much don't don't feel like uh like uh, you though you've got problems come here <laughs> uh, horse archers are op in this game yeah they are they are They're, but in their defense horse archers are op in real life uh, imagine not having 500k gold yeah i know i don't play this for like any other reason than literally to just get a a, a war machine <laughs> That's the only reason I place. Like, I, I have no interest in the economy or anything like this. I just want to butcher vast armies of my enemies. And uh, and I just enjoy it. Sargon's boomer empire. Yeah, well, it's not much of an empire at the moment. It's, um... I assume I'm here to kill you. Are we not at war? Oh, we're at war now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally uh, like a, a murder hobo. On these, just yet, yeah. everyone gets to die. I'm so, I because normally in my real life, I'm spent so much time going, okay, what's good, what's right, what should be done, what shouldn't be done, blah blah blah. And that's like, right, okay, I don't. Have to do that. <laughs> Moral concerns are for the real world, okay. I love it. I love when people bring moral concerns into like art or video games and things like this. It's just like, oh, but this is this is a moral. I'll oh, shut up. It's a fucking game. News. Write that down. What? I'm not. Uh, I'm not too overconfident about Trump. Um, it's. It's not that I. It's not that I'm feeling overconfident or anything like that. Um, it's just I genuinely think that this is what's going to happen. I. I. I don't know how you can look at 
Biden's weak ass campaign as a, like an outsider. I'm just looking at the, the, I mean, it's like Biden isn't even campaigning. Biden may as well not be there. And everyone knows it. And it's like, okay, what are you supposed to do? Like, Obama came out and, and threw a, a basketball uh, ball through a hoop. And he got it in the first time. It's like, okay, great. But Trump has got fucking 60,000 people turning up to cheer him on. That seems more important if the uh, if the question is not who can throw the best basketball. Like, the qu- if the question is who's got the most supporters that will vote for them, I would much rather have Trump supporters than uh, Trump than Obama on my team. But there we go. It's just, it's mad. But okay, no, no, no. Like, Biden's a competitive candidate. It's It looks like he might win, you know, or something. It's like, okay. If you, if you say so, but as long... I mean, I wouldn't know unless you told me. Oh, these guys got crap. Britannia better than Empire. Mm, I don't know, man. I like the I like the Empire's troops. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I, I love nice big... Nice big battles when I have a good, hard army of elite dudes. We're going we're gonna to kick your asses here, bitches. Um, what game is this, Banlord? Monopoly sails down due to generation of socialists. Yeah, I can believe it. Me and my son play Monopoly. He really likes it. He's only five, but he, he always he's pretty good. Again, he just makes good gut decisions, Trump style. <laughs> he uh, he buys everything he can. Who do you think will kill? Oh, who do you think will play you in BuzzFeed's upcoming GamerGate movie? Oh God, imagine Sorry. wanting BuzzFeed's opinion on GamerGate. Uh, but I hope it's Jack Black. <laughs> oh, it's one of these legendarily OP horse archers that I've heard so much about. Ah, what? Oh. Th- Okay, pulling the brakes wasn't fair, was it? <laughs> what the shit? Can't believe he totally got past me. I can't believe he just survived 100 damage. Come on, Cataphracts. Ow. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Alright, my commentary is going to be quite lacking when we're in the middle of, like, a big battle like this. Fucking get him, lads. Get him, finish him. Ow. Ooh, let me back. Peasant levies. Jesus, what are you doing? What are you doing? Look at what you're against. Look what you've got. You've got a fucking farm implement. What are you doing? How did you let this dude in the armor persuade you to be here? Shut up, bitch. What, what is my axe made of? Kill the guy. Ow. Fucking finally. Two guys, I'm not happy that I lost two guys. Two guys is two guys too many, frankly. Christ, didn't they have hundreds of... Yeah, they've killed 246 dudes. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to get the uh, the big uh, battle book because I need to build up the renown. renown so I can... Uh, very lag. What? Felt all right. Tommy Robinson has just been arrested at Speaker's Corner. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, he was going to be down there, wasn't he? Fucking hell, man. Every, everything is a nightmare. Just everything. It's like the, the whole world thing is, is true. All right, bad luck for this guy, though, that these are all my prisoners.
the 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 only thing I don't like about taking around like a large elite army is that you don't get to you you basically waste all the experience you generate, and uh, there's a part of me that that despises it. But on the plus side, it means you get to kill lots of enemy nobles, um, which is good for me. Right up until I get captured. Rusty male mittens. I already have some, but do you have some? Enjoy. Hmm. Okay. I guess I have to put them on manually. Um, God, look at all these people who are really angry with me for killing everyone. Um, Uh, Boomer Mike, Boomer Mike, yes, thank you, Boomer Mike. <laughs> I, I'm aware now that I had a Boomer Mike. I don't know what the hell was going on. Like, um, Can I do a video breakdown and talk about voice appearance on Tim Pool's stream? I've never seen such pseudo-intellectual sophistry in all my life. I'd rather watch 24-hour Amy Schumer and Brie Larson comedy fundraiser for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, wasn't it? Um, I don't know. The, the thing that struck me that was most strange was, uh, was that Carlin Borisenko, who was freaking out about temple platforming Vorsch and it's like but that's good because Vorsch is an idiot and he lies constantly and I don't even know if he knows that he's lying so like why don't we show everyone Vorsch saying things <laughs> because they're always really bad <laughs> like Tim Pool sits there and goes, yeah, well, New York's finances are collapsing. You know, Cuomo's desperate. He's you know, begging people to stay for... He'll, he's promising to take them to dinner. Please don't leave New York. Please don't leave New York. Even though everyone appears to be leaving New York and California. And, uh, you know, the rich are leaving because of their ridiculous tax proposals. The black rappers are up in arms. And then Vosch is like, no, I'm sure that their taxes are just fine. I'm sure they, their, their state finances are just fine. It's like, based on what?! Your feelings, like the reality suggests that these places are hemorrhaging money, but <laughs> the governors are begging people not to go. But Vorsch said, no, no, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. And like, it was frustrating that Tim just kind of let that go, but Vorsch does have what's going on. Sure, Fat Attack and Messi going, wow, everything he's saying is just not true. It's like, yeah. And when Tim Pool's like, I think you're in a bubble, dude, and Vorsch said, no, I'm not in a bubble, and here's my reasons for why I'm not in a bubble. It's like, dude, you're obviously in a bubble. Like, when Joe Rogan said it to me, it was true. When uh, Tim says it to you, it's true. Like, we're all in bubbles. Dream off you think that you're not. And man, I can't wait until Trump gets this win. I'm, I just can't believe he's not going to. And it's going to be bad as well. You know, the left is going to flip the fuck out when he wins, right? Like, the left is going to absolutely lose their minds. And they are not going to be pleasant people about it um whereas i think if the republicans lost the republicans would probably uh be less insufferable about it so that's good what was i looking for oh yeah that was, sorry um no not that not that that the one with the giant red exclamation mark on right yeah no i have killed all my prisoners that's good uh Uh, if you haven't watched Code Gaius Leluch of the Rebellion, you really should. And who, <laughs> and who do you think BuzzFeed will get you to put, play in their gaming game movie? Uh, play me. Um, again, I, I'm I'm hoping Jack Black. I think that'd be, uh, you know, acceptable. Yeah, he's 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 all right. He's funny, and he, he's a neck beard. So you know, uh, uh, I work in a, an unnamed large pub chain I'm about to start one of my life shifts, shifts before the tyranny. Feel awful. Got money on Trump, so I'm moralized. See, uh, good to see you stream. Get yourself a drink whilst you still can. Uh, thanks, Harrison. I really appreciate that, man. Um, obviously, all my channels have been demonetized, so uh, very, very grateful. Um, yeah, man, the new lockdown. I can't get over it. I just can't understand it. Like, why is Sweden not just pointed to in every argument about the coronavirus? Just, okay, but Sweden. But Sweden. Why why are millions of Swedes not dying? You know, why is it not nearly as bad as being made out? You know, the, the UK government is tracking flu and COVID in the same category now. 
So the COVID doesn't even get its own category. It's flu and COVID deaths, which makes it sound like they actually are just accepting that it's just a strain of the flu and it's not that bad. I mean, the flu obviously is bad for people over 80, which is the, the majority of like deaths, but that's life, isn't it? Like, sorry, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Oh, like, I don't know. So, I don't want to sound heartless or anything, but there's, there's, that is just life, isn't it? So, anyway. Basically, uh, we're going to another month's lockdown. It's going to be catastrophic for small business. Um, thankfully, we, we, can, we, we can work from the office, I think, still. So I think that's okay. Uh, we can, we will still launch. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and launch the thing before the election, um, because there's going to be plenty to do after the election and it will probably be better served for us to actually have a media platform to be able to publish articles about things that otherwise might not get covered. Um, and so I'll, I'll just do an election night stream on here. Um, and I